what's up guys you're welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to make this sheep dress so let's get started for this dress i folded my fabric into four places so i folded my fabric like this and then like this so you fold your fabric into four places so i have four layers and the next thing is to take your desired length for mine i have 40 inches and then i added three inches for seam allowance so the next thing is to take the shoulder measurement So you divide your shoulder measurement by two. I have eight. So you mark it here. And then you draw this line down. And then you take nine inches for your armhole measurement. Draw the line down. On this line, I'll take my bust measurement. So you divide your bust measurement by four. So I have nine inches. And then you add three inches for, for ease. And then we'll come down by 24 inches for the hip measurement. We won't need a waist measurement for this design. So you come down by 24 inches. And then you divide your hip measurement by four. So I have 10 and a half. And then you add three inches for ease. And then you mark the line down. mark that line down to the end so for the armhole you take one inches for the armhole one inch i mean and then you mark a curve line here for the armhole and then on the shoulder you take half an inch on this side and then we draw the line down to this half an inch for the shoulder slant And then we'll cut. So for the neckline, we'll use four inches. You mark four inches here, and then mark two inches downward. So I have four inches. Four inches for the width, and then two inches for the depth. And then you draw a curve line here. And then you cut. And then you take the front from the back piece. Separate the front from the back piece. For the front, we'll come down by four inches. So I'll mark four inches here. I'll draw a line down. I want the front neckline to be deeper than the back and then you draw a curve line here and then we'll cut I'll add 
add an additional half an inch to the neckline. For the sleeves, I used 15 inches. And then I'll use four inches for the for the armhole curve. And then I'll come down, I'll draw a curved line here like this. And then on the bottom, I'll use my round curve, which is 12 inches. You divide that by two, so I have six inches. And then I'll add three inches. Because I'll be adding elastic. And then you draw the line down to this place. And then you cut. So I folded my fabric into four places before cutting. And then you just notch the middle like this. So next you join the shoulders together. After joining the shoulders together, before you turn the neckline with your bias tape, you turn the entire neckline with the bias tape. And then you join the sleeves together. You notch the middle of the sleeve. You take the notched part, you place it here at the shoulder joining, and then you pin it, you pin it around. And then you, when you're done pinning, I'll trim up the S's. You sew it together. You sew the sleeves to the dress. So I've done that on the other side. So the next thing is to join the sides of the dress. So you go ahead and pin the armholes to each other together. You pin them together and then pin the, in, the sides of the dress together. And then you sew it. So after joining the sides of your dress, you go ahead and try your dress on. When I tried mine, I had to make some little adjustments. And then you hem the bottom of your dress. I used two inches to hem the bottom of the dress and then for the sleeves I hemmed it with about one inch and then I cut my elastic I cut 11 inches the measurement around my bicep is 12 inches but I cut 11 inches for the elastic and then you take the elastic you pin it you slide it into the opening And then you keep sliding it gently. You go ahead and stitch the elastic together like this. You stitch it and then you close the opening. So here's the sleeves. And then I went ahead to finish the neckline. I'll go ahead and iron it. So this part is optional. I've cut a strip of 21 inches and then 3 inches wide, 21 inches long. And then I went ahead to sew it like this. You sew it like this. And then I'll just trim up this. And then you flip it to the right side. And then you close the opening because you're going to leave the opening to turn it. And then you close the opening and iron it. You fold your strip into two and then you mark the mid middle of it and then you place it on the sleeve you place it you just eyeball where you have the shoulder joining and then you place it on this part you sew it up right above the elastic not on top the elastic and then you stitch it here so there you go i made a stitch around this place and then I just tied it into a form of a, a bow. So here's the sheep dress. Please like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you for watching. Thank you.